It's time for Sound Off Vallejo with your host and VIB's man on the street, Chad Everyman. Why? Because we want a piece of your mind. In this episode, we ask the question, participatory budgeting, keep it or kill it. PB, people's budget, people's project, um, people believe, and I can go on and on and on. This is for the people, by the people, and who in the government with the right mind doesn't want to do things for the people? Huh? Tell me. Just call me Chad Everything. If you take a look at some of the uh, comments that people have made at city council meetings about it, it is the most exciting thing that people have done and they get involved in their government. I mean, it's, it's, it's really a wonderful project. I think we sh it's a great thing and it's something we probably should have had for 40 or 50 years ago here. If we, if we had that, maybe it would be a much better town. Yeah, I think it's a waste because it doesn't go anywhere. It, it, the people start getting very greedy and they're going to their own. Oh, keep it. It's amazing. No, it's, it's one of the first times I really felt engaged with my community politically. Keep it because it's, it's a, I think, a revolutionary way of, of making decisions on a local level. Any type of movement to try to take away any power from the people, the people, the taxpayers, people who participate, people who live in the community, any move to reduce that just doesn't make sense to me. Our community came together, thought outside of the box, came up with something very successful that has gotten worldwide attention, and somebody wants to kill it? I think we should keep it because I like the idea of community being involved. There's all kind of things that support that whole attitude, you know, officially and just naturally. It's very much common sense. Participatory budgeting, keep it or kill it. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Keep it or kill it, and why? Keep it. Keep it because we need community involvement in the community. I mean, where's the money going? The community? Who's in charge of that? Who should be in charge of that? The community. You know, I, I, I have mixed feelings about it, and I, and I, it, it, it is something that seems to be bringing the community out to look at these things. There is some, you know, some participation, so that's, that's a good thing. On the other hand, we have real needs for that money in, you know, in uh, community safety, obviously, you know, our police department. Um, I actually choose not to vote, so I choose not to bitch when a vote takes place. I, I, I have a voice, but I, use not, I choose not to use it. Uh, we definitely need to keep it because it's bringing the community together and allowing a lot of great ideas to surface from the community. I don't really know enough about it to have an opinion. What was that again? Participatory budgeting. Keep it. I think it's awesome for people to have a voice in the situation of what's going on in their own town. I think a lot of the time uh, governments and organizations are out of touch with what people actually want in their community. They better use it the way I voted to spend my money because I'm paying the money <laughs> into PV. It is important that we, the community, um, uh, decide where this money is uh, going to be spending. Keep it because it gets citizens involved. Kill it, man. You know why? So if a girl see a dollar on the ground, start pick that shit up. Keep it. It's our money. We should do with it what we want. Definitely keep it. Uh, if you don't vote and if you don't put in your two cents, don't cry about the, the results. So participate. Absolutely to continue doing it. It's great for Vallejo. A bit of a half of a percentage is not going to kill us and it's going to do a lot of good. Keep it so you can spend your own money and decide where it goes. I think keep it. It's always good for the people to have a voice. It's a, a positive program. It's got nationwide attention. I hear of community gardens, which I'm always an advocate for. Oh, well, we definitely have to keep that. We, we have to keep going with uh, the citizens making their own choices. Absolutely keep it. Projects like this wouldn't happen without it. Uh, you've got the community getting involved, we've got community coming out, growing vegetables and plant material, learning about being self-sustainable. This is an awesome project. That's how the community comes together, by working with, bringing other community members together to work with the city and, and all these wonderful people out here. 
<laughs> I know. Never mind that. You know, one needs to compliment one another when one is beautiful and handsome as you are. I just, no, seriously. You can pretty much be my son, you know, because I'm an older woman. I'm not that good looking. You think I'm good looking enough to be here, kid? Almost smart enough, too, huh? I don't know that. Yeah?